Rebuilding the Alexander Hamilton Bridge, the miniseries, part one of two, with your host, Crazy New York Driver. Hey guys, it's me, May 30th, 2010, and we're going to talk about the Alexander Hamilton Bridge today. The construction of the Alexander Hamilton Bridge began in early 1960. In the spring of 1962, the two parallel arches comprising the main span were joined high above the Harlem River and completed. And that's where I'm standing today, right now, right here, on the Alexander Hamilton Bridge. What you're looking at there is actually the Harlem River Drive viaduct, which I will get to in part two. Underneath there is no man's land. But again, let's save that for part two. This is a temporary scaffolding that's been erected and they are working on one of the ramps from there. I am standing on the bridge proper and you can see that the steel has rotted through on the plate covering the expansion joint. I was lucky today because it's the first sunny day I have had in as long as I can remember so I decided to do this video today. What a beautiful shot of the skyline. That bridge you see there is High Bridge, which is closed to all traffic. There you can see the Metro North tracks, the shoreline of the Harlem River, and some commercial businesses. There's a close-up. Keep in mind, I am still standing on the Alexander Hamilton Bridge, which is in fact Route 95, the Cross Bronx, and is 135 feet above the water. Note the original blue steel guardrail, as you can see. It appears to have been hit by a large truck at one point, because only a large truck could do that kind of damage to that solid steel guardrail. The ramps you see, those curved ramps, are ramps leading to the Major Deegan, from the Deegan to the Cross Bronx, and they are called the corkscrew ramps, because they resemble a corkscrew from the air. That is the Major Deegan, and we're going to go down there shortly. Note I'm on foot for this whole video, walking down these ramps. And I have to tell you, it was a tight squeeze, especially with the construction things that were in the way. Look to the left, and you can see there's a brand new ramp being put in. They're phasing out the old one that I'm standing on here, because it, it has been deemed structurally unsafe. Is it unsafe? I don't think it is. But the jury's still out on that. I'm in the middle now of the Major Deegan, and note the old divider has the original cobblestones in there. Back in the day there was a steel guardrail here, not the concrete one you're looking at on either side now, so it was really photogenic back in its day. Now I'm looking south toward Yankee Stadium and that's High Bridge that carries the water from the Manhattan to the Bronx. Nobody's allowed up there because back in the day people used to fight and throw things off and hit the circle line and throw each other off. That is the historic lighthouse, which was rebuilt about 25 years ago because the original one had caught fire and burned down. These are the ramps leading onto the Major Deegan, and I'm going to walk up this ramp and show you a few things of interest that I think are of interest. Note, you can see the construction going on. The bridge on the very top is the Hamilton Bridge that I just came from. Isn't it amazing how people can steal cars and burn them for the insurance money? What's even more amazing is how the guy got the car in there. Can any of you guys identify what kind of car that is? Crazy New York driver knows a lot about cars, but he could not identify that one from where he was. However, I do plan to go down there in the near future and check it out. Looking at the rust, you can see it's not all that bad. It could be a lot worse, and I'm hoping they save these ramps. These ramps were opened in 1964 just after the Hamilton Bridge itself, and these feed from the Cross Bronx onto the Major Deegan North. Note the original guardrail is still in place and it's in good shape. It's been struck many, many times by cars, of course, but it's not really rotted out like you would expect. This ramp was designed bad, in and that on the right, you'll notice the curb jets out a little bit right there, see it? And cars come tooling around there and nail that high curb and it rips the McPherson struts right out. On the left, you can see that temporary concrete has been struck by tractor trailers many times because it's too narrow. 
This ramp leads from the Cross Bronx to the Deegan North and South and as yet has not been touched. This is the original ramp the way it's always been. I sure hope they leave this one alone. I like it when things stay original, a throwback to the old days. Now let's transition, okay, from a sunny day to a cloudy day. Because this film took a long time to make and I was shooting this for two weeks. Last week was cloudy and that's when I started this work. I am standing now on a ramp that's over the Hamilton Bridge. And I am actually looking down on the Hamilton Bridge. Here's where I'm standing. This is the ramp that leads from the Harlem River Drive to the George Washington Bridge. But again, I want to talk about the Hamilton Bridge below. The ramp on top there is the original ramp from 1962. And as you can see, they cut certain parts out of it. I think they're going to try and save the ramp, or the bulk of it, and they're only replacing certain parts. There's a good look at the scaffolding they're using. I'm not quite sure about the purpose there. Maybe one of you guys could hazard a guess. But look here. You can see how they cut out certain sections. And at the very left, the ramp is gone altogether because that had deteriorated and had fallen through. That's the Hamilton Bridge. And that's where I started from early this morning. If you remember the scene where I showed you had the plate that was rotted right through over the expansion joint. That's a large heavy-duty crane, which was not in operation on a Sunday, but I'm sure I'd like to get down in there in the near future and see what they're doing, perhaps on a weekday if I can get off some time off work. But look at that beam that the arrow is pointing to. That is not an original beam. That was put in a few years ago to help shore up the rotting structure. You can see that the graffiti guys had no trouble running across the Cross Bronx to tag that pillar. Interesting, isn't it? Again, there's a good aerial view of the Hamilton Bridge on a cloudy day. Now in part two, we're going to talk about the Harlem River Drive Viaduct, which is where I started the video off. I hope to post it tonight or in the next day or two, and I will post it below as a video response. So thanks for watching part one of Rebuilding the Hamilton Bridge. I'm Crazy New York Driver and you're not. Let's see some comments below. If you like it, if you